Hey, hey John, Dave. good morning. Morning, how are you doing? Excellent, are you in Tahoe? No, last day in Canada, I'll be in Tahoe tomorrow. So first time I've spent oh, six nice. months in Canada since, I don't know, probably 30 years or so. But I'm not gonna complain, it was a great winter of skiing and uh, lots of outdoor sports and hockey and everything, so no problem. Awesome, sounds like a good run. Yeah, that's all right. We're looking forward to the next few months in Tahoe for sure. Awesome. Hello, Katie. Hi, Katie. Good morning, Katie. Dave. Happy How are Monday. you? Oh, just fine. Happy thank you. Monday. <laughs> A beautiful week going to occur here in Tahoe. I bet you wish you were here. Uh, yeah, you know, sometimes I do, but then I'll be glad when I'm back and I'm glad I'm here right now. So that's how it works. Oh, wonderful. All righty. Did you have a nice weekend? Katie, did you have Katie, a nice weekend? Yes. Yep, had a great weekend. Thank you. Good. Okay. Hello, Lorraine. Hi, Hi, welcome, Lorraine. Yeah, ski season's over. <laughs> yeah. How's the snow up at Diamond Peak? Is it already left? Um, there's a little bit left. Um, it's it's getting it's it's kind of like you have to find that sweet spot, and you know you don't want to hit the ice too hard. So, you know, it's, yeah, it's, I better, getting, better get yeah. soft quick. Yeah, the last time we skied at Mount Rose, about 10.30, some of the runs were feeling like mashed potatoes. So, okay, let's see when what's does, going on. When does the resort close? Um, the 19th. Oh, nice. Yeah. Let me um, log or uh, try to get out of this and come back in because I'm getting a video preview that's not supposed to be there. Okay. Okay, I'll try to get out. Hmm, it's stuck. Okay, hold on. Looks like you got your mountain bike out, Dave, and hitting the trails. Yeah, I've been, been pretty, pretty steady all winter actually all good better yep great good so you've been doing a lot of mountain biking uh fair amount yep yep that's good i can i i can ride right from my house here and ride on the road a couple miles and i'll be on some trails so it's advantageous location here for for that so that's that's cool good let me just check real quick and see if anybody else is in the waiting room okay. all right okay so nobody's waiting so if i if the ding goes off while we're warming up here, I'll jump over here and let them in. But up until that point, we'll start to roll on here. Okay. All right, I'm gonna put myself on mute. Sure, sounds good. So um, as Katie and John know, we've been working a lot on the breath work to start out the practice, so We'll continue again with that and just to review for Lorraine what we've been thinking about. So we've been thinking about full breaths, breathing in and inflating the lower torso in the beginning of the breath. And then as that inflates the last part of the breath on the in-breath, we're trying to inflate these upper lobes of the lungs that seldom get a lot of use. So most people don't use their whole lung capacity. So we're gonna work on that a little bit just to start. It's about a four to a six count, whatever your preference is on the end. 
and then on the out, four to six count. So try to make it four in and four out, or five in and five out, as far as a four count or a five count goes. And remember on the inhale, we're trying to grab as much air and inflate the lungs as much as we can. And then on the exhale, it goes in the opposite direction. So the lower chest deflates first, air comes out. Then the air starts coming out of the bottom part of the lungs and the lower torso. We really want to squeeze all that air out and think about pulling that belly button in as we exhale, trying to get it to reach the back, the spine. So let's go ahead and get started. Everybody will have their own cadence. So it's okay if you're not exactly on time with me. Remember, keep that intention on that upper area of the chest. And then as you notice, you may notice on the exhale, the shoulders sink slightly. Inhale, shoulders rise. Shoulders sink on the exhale. So as you're finishing that exhale, really think about relaxing the arms and hands. And a big inhale. And exhale. And as you exhale, sink in the center. Shift over the right foot. Releases the left heel. Left foot goes. Turn right. Turn back to the left. Shifting towards the middle. Sink and rise. Sink and rotate. Rotate that arm towards the body as you turn over that leg, alternating each side. Don't forget about that trailing arm also. It just slides behind the pelvis. Just in response to the shoulder moving to the rear. Back hand just we're not pushing it back there. The shoulder is dragging that hand behind the pelvis.
and relax. Initiating exercise two, we're gonna sink slightly and rise up, arms follow, sink and dropping the elbows. And arriving back at the stop, uh, top position, go ahead and relax. Then Lorraine, um, we started something new again to start exercise three. We're starting out real small with just side to side movements, staying inside our base of contact with the ground. So we're not moving real far. We're just moving a little bit back and forth feeling is shifting the weight from foot to foot and then adding a little bit of hip turn to that side to side movement so we're pushing our hip forward one at a time one forward one back so we add a little bit of rotation the side to side is our compression and the rotation comes in and look what the hands start to do side to side and I can start to extend those hands a little bit more. Make this movement very small to start. And then we're building up to the full extended movement. The integrity of the movement stays the same, no matter what size it is, it still works the same way. But as we move further and further out, each of the movements and become more extended, if you will. So remember, we're reaching out with the back of the hand towards the opposite shoulder, drawing the arm back to the body using the hip turn. If 
I go to the side, you can see the hip turn and the connection between the hip and the elbow. So as my hip retracts, I drop my elbow, brings my arm into my side. And the final move is turning back, dropping the arm and getting ready for the extension again. Remember, we're drawing that elbow towards the body, brings the hand in, and then it moves down the torso. Bring the pistol back in the holster. And as we begin to wind this movement down, extending less and less each time. Until the movement all happens directly in front. See if you can scale these movements down very slowly, smaller and smaller each time. Arrive at this position here, still maintaining integrity of the movement. And eventually the elbows don't break anymore. And we're left with the arms swinging as we rotate side to side to finish. Arms should be resting still. And here we go, upper body. We're going to sink and inhale, body rise, arms follow. Exhale, dropping down. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, lift, exhale, press, inhale, hands to forehead, exhale, bending at the waist until the elbows reach the knees, and then really swinging the arms, arms are very relaxed, shoulders are relaxed, front and back. Feel those shoulders pulling out of the sockets just a little bit, warming up those shoulder joints. Then we're going to move side to side. And shoulders and neck using the shoulder blades. And to finish, we're going to drop the pelvis behind the heels, hands contact the lower shin. Looking up straight ahead and brushing the legs slightly as you move back to the upright position. Round two, sink, rise, and sink. Lift, press, 
bending the elbows, hands to forehead, bending the waist, elbows to knees. Round two, forward and back. And side to side. And shoulders and neck. And back to stand. Third and final round, sink. Body rise, arms follow, body sinks, elbows drop. Bring the hands together, inhale, exhale. Final round, forward and back. And side to side. And shoulders and neck. And back to standing. Here we go with the lower body warm up. And sinking in the center, shifting left, turning right, right foot pivots 90 degrees. Onto the right foot, turn the hips slightly, adjust the left foot. Now, as we move back in a way, let's think about pressure on the top of our hands, pushing forward. As we move back towards the right foot, off of the left, elbows drop towards the body, just as in exercise three, this time both elbows are moving. So when I make that move back towards the right foot, that's when I drop my elbows, brings my hands back towards the body. And a couple more. And position the weight over the left foot, right toe raises, hands resting lightly on the thighs, hinging at the right knee until the right toe makes contact. So we want to avoid reaching down with our toe. Here, we want to just hinge at that right knee. A couple more. And holding, we're going to turn left over the left foot, right draws in, shift the weight right, continue turning left, left foot springs out, rocking forward and sliding back on the horizontal plane, shifting that center of gravity between the feet. And a couple more. And hold, left toe raises. Again, posting up on the right foot, we're hinging at the left knee until the left toe contacts the ground. Remember, this is the measurement for all of the one-footed postures. So anytime we're reaching out with our heel, this is what we're doing. We're going toe, heel, heel, toe. A couple more. And hold, turning the hips to the right on top of the right foot, left draws in, shift over to the left, pivot on the right toe. As you slide the right heel towards the left, you move your weight back to the center. And here we go, number six on the warm ups shoulder, 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 hip, 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 hip. Shoulders and hips are in opposition here.
Hey, Dave, you're getting the beep on your phone, by the way. Who's calling me? Don't bother me. And to complete this exercise, let's go ahead and do what we did in exercise three and just make these movements smaller and smaller and see if we can bring ourselves to a still position. Still just slightly doing the movement, just very, very tiny. And watch what happens at the end. Arms are still moving in response to the hips and shoulders going in opposite directions. Very subtle movement here. Really working to refine the basics of this movement. Deep breaths here before we get into the last part of the warm up. And on your own, after you finish your inhale and start to exhale, then let's move back to the equalized position. Everybody knows this movement. I'm not going to call it out, just let everybody get there on their own. And here we go, sinking and inhale, rise up in the body, elbows move away. Watch those hands rise on their own as you continue to breathe in all the way to the top. And exhale, all the way to the top for the inhale. And smooth exhale all the way through the bottom. Here we go, breathe in. And out. Really make sure you turn those palms all the way over. Here, palms are pointing straight up as you move up, continue to put the palms towards the sky and then exhale. You should feel a stretch in your wrists as you try to get those palms pointing straight towards the sky. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. And out, a couple more. And exhale. Right into the dragging tiger movement. The arm rotates, elbow moves forward and away from the body, raises the hand. Remember to keep your knees slightly bent here in this exercise and in the previous movement. We don't want to lock out the legs here. We want just a little bit of flex. And a couple more. That's one. And 
finishing with the opposite hand. Back to the side. And working into the wave hands like cloud movement again, starting side to side. And we're going to turn to the left here after we push off that right foot, drawing the right arm across the body in front. And shift and turn brings the left hand underneath and draws the right hand across the top of the body. And a couple more. That's one. And final movement. So from this position here, let's go ahead and do a little bit of Tai Chi walk. And a sink, shift left, turn right. Right foot goes onto the right, left heel, left toe. Weight, right adjusts, rock back, left opens. Right goes, heel, toe, weight is right, left adjusts, rock back, left pivot. Left weight, right pivots, rock back, left opens. Right heel, right toe, adjust left, rock back. and et cetera, et cetera. So when we're rocking forward in that Tai Chi walk, when we're sitting back and turning right, the right foot opens onto the right foot, left heel, left toe. Notice the width that I'm stepping away. Instead of stepping forward, I'm stepping to the side. Remember this exercise? That's as far as I can go. I'm still on my right leg. Move on to the foot, toe goes down, then the weight and the right foot moves in. Now look at the position of the right and left foot. We're right here. So every time we move that opposite foot in, we're moving either to here or to here. So we go here, rock back. Right is pointed towards the corner, the foot is down, the weight is on the right, left adjusts. So now my left foot is pointing straight, my right foot is on the angle. Remember, this is where we want to move to. When we move in the shuttles, we always end up in either this position or this position. Single whip, the same thing. Most of all of our poses end up with this position here. So we always want to think of that. Let's do the Tai Chi walk just once more, a couple steps, and take notice of if your feet are lining up in the proper place. So we start parallel, equally weighted, shoulder width. Sink, shift, right opens, left goes, right adjusts, rock back, left opens, right goes, left adjusts. Right adjust. Notice your feet is your right foot pointing straight and your left is to the corner here. Rock back. Here. And here. So 
My right foot is pointing here. My left foot is pointing straight ahead. So when we're going through the form, maybe try to take notice of your foot position, especially when we get hey, to the yes. Dave, just for, just for clarity, when you rock back, your foot actually though stays to the same if it's going uh, northwest or south or, or northeast. It doesn't change when it when you move and goes back down, right? When you say rock back, it's a straight move of your foot, right? It's onto your heel. It's there's no uh, rotation to the heel. When you say ro like rock back, is just a straight. You're putting all the weight onto the other leg, and there's no heel because sometimes I find my heel actually will naturally go a little bit to the east or to the west as you rock back but it shouldn't i think you're saying it, it always should be to the quad to the corner quadrant right so so when we're starting from equalized position both toes are pointing straight ahead this way so as i'm sinking then I'm shifting and rotating. That's what opens that foot on this side. So I sink in the center, shift left and turn right. That's what makes that foot pivot on the heel. So if your foot is pivoting from the toe, you wanna sink down and a little bit back so you can get that weight on your heel. Yeah, but I guess the, it's always going at 45 degrees. It never goes over 45 degrees, it never goes to 90 degrees. Like any rock back move, move is always 45. Don't let your foot drift off to a 90 degrees. Yes, correct. So yeah. you, don't wanna, you don't need to open up your foot when you're rocking back. It's only a 45 degree move, you know, right. to turn all the way. Yeah, so the way I was thinking of it was zero to 45 is okay. It should be 45 perfectly, but never over 45 degrees. Exactly. Right. Okay. Exactly. Yep. No, that's good. Thanks. So we'll just do a little bit of breathing here, breath movement as we usually finish with, but then We'll go from this breath movement, we'll go right into the first part of the form. So we'll do a few breath inhales and expansions and exhales and compressions. Breathe in, breathe out, in, out, inhale, exhale, in and out. Inhale, exhale, two more and we'll start. And here we go, inhale, rise, arms float, exhale, body sinks, drop the elbows, shift left, turn right. Left heel, left toe, right comes in, up on the left foot, right toe is up, right heel, right toe, Board off right, roll back, press, sit back, and push. Turn left, right draws in, shift to the right, left cuts across. Single whip, go forward, extend right. Pull down, turn back, turn back to the right, pivot onto the right foot, turn right, draw the arm up, white crane, circle. Circle, step with the left foot, sweep and strike right knee. Onto the right foot, arms float, right hip, right shoulder retracts, sinking to that left leg, drops the left heel to the ground. Turn, sweep and strike southwest, left pivot. Right goes, right parries, left goes, extend. Hands retract, back to the left, into the hands, pushing away and turning right. Draws in, shift to the left, right return, and exhale. I got a question for everyone. 
Did you feel your feet getting into that position at the very end of the ward off sequence? And also in the single whip movement? Yeah, I think it's good to be conscious of it. It's, it's, it's good, yes. yes. Ladies, ladies? Yes, I built it, thank you. Good, yeah. good. Awesome. Okay. All right. Everybody doing okay? Does anybody have any questions on anything? Do we move into the full form? Okay, good. Gonna pick up the pace a little bit here, go a little bit more quickly. Here we go, sink and rise, arms float, exhale, drop the elbows, shift left, turn right, left heel, left toe, ward off, left, right moves in, all the ways left, right heel, right toe, ward off right, left comes in, roll back, press, sit back and push, turn left over the left foot, right draws in, shift right, Left cuts across, right adjust, go forward, extend to the right, pull down, turn left, turn back, drops the foot in, place the heel, pivot, turn, draw the arm up, circle, circle, step, sweep and strike, knee, onto the right foot, arms float, right hip, right shoulder retract, lifting hands, turn right, step left, drop back, left pivot, Right goes, right parries, left goes, extend, and retract, back to the left, push away, turn right, left comes in, shift to the left, right return, equalize, pull down, turning left over the right leg, now coming in, coming in, coming in, shift to the left foot, right goes, southeast, roll back, press, sit back, and push. Turn left, right draws in, shift right, left cuts across, and diagonal whip. Rock back, rotate right, now rotate, adjust the left foot, right match, wind up, and escape. Turning, and step, wind up, step right, wind up right, step left, wind up left, right goes, winding up here, and onto the left foot, turning, step. Left adjust, right hand raise, diagonal flying, wind up right, turn left and step, right and match. Left step, right match. Wave hands like cloud to the west and to the north. Tiger's jaw, separate, adjust the feet. Pivot heel, pivot toe, creeping whip. Golden rooster stands left. Back to the right, now to the left, brush the arm, adjust the right foot. Golden rooster stands right, step, press, spear, turn, turn right, leg drops in, control, separate, shift to the right, spear left, turn right, turn left, foot drops in as you control, separate, posing, pivot, middle kick. Sweep and strike, rock back, left pivot. Brush knee, sweep and strike, rock back, right pivot. Left goes, drive the hips, punch, leave the arm in front, rock back, left pivot. Right goes, and we ward off to the right. Roll back, press, sit back, and push. Turn left, right comes in, shift right. Cutting across, once again, single whip. Push off the left and turn right, left comes in, back to the left, keep turning right, right pivots, now left goes, shuttle. Cut down, left comes in, right touch, left pivot, right goes, cut down, turn left, right comes in slightly to point west. Now left goes southwest, cutting down, turning right, right touch, left pivot, right goes, Cut 
down right comes in, shift to the right, turn right, rise up and sink into the right leg. Rise up and sink into the left leg. Turn, roll back, press, sit back, push. Turn left, right comes in, shift right, cutting once again across into single whip. And turning right, pivots heel, turning left, pivot on the toe underneath, creeping whip, push back, left adjust, right goes forward, seven stars, back into the right, turn right, draw the arm up, posing, left toe, right heel, left cross, right finish, lotus kick, sweep left to right, press in the center, rise up and sink into the right side, bend bow, shoot tiger, circle, circle, onto the left, right draws in, right goes, right parries, left goes, extend onto the left foot, hand under the elbow, sit back to retract, back to the left, push away, turn right, left draws in, shift left, right return, deep breath in, and exhale. How's everyone doing? That was really good, especially when I haven't done it for so long. <laughs> but it, no, it felt good. It felt good. 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 Felt like you never left, huh? Uh, I wouldn't put it quite that way. There were a couple little steps, but then going over it again, it, it'll come back. It'll come right back. Good. Well, sometimes uh, coming back after a break, you can kind of have a different perspective on things. And uh, it also becomes apparent that maybe you remember and learned more than you thought you did sometimes. Yes, that, that's true. I um, realized that some of the movements, it's like, oh yeah, I just falls one into the other. And then there were a couple of like, uh, I think I have my weight on the wrong foot. <laughs> that's, that's, totally, that's totally fine, totally acceptable. That's all good news. Okay, so thank you. I also find, Dave, when you change sports, you uh, like I was going and I was kayaking the other day on the river and then biking. And instead of what I was sort of, you know, thinking of it with skiing, I was, I'm now looking at it actually differently of how I'm using the same, you know, the movements, as I was mentioning, how it, I find it works into all my sports that I'm doing. And it's fun when you change sports because you see new insights too. Great point. Absolutely. That's, that's a really good point, John. Thank you for sharing that. And as I said, the, the breathing too has been, for me, that's been the best thing this winter, as I said, was on that, that 45 degree slope and having to sort of calm myself down to, uh, to take the delirium dive. It's a good way to sort of, uh, you know, to use Tai Chi even in extreme situations. So, yeah. So cool. So cool. That's so great to hear. Yeah. You know, sometimes when I say that with new people, I, I get the feeling that people don't believe that it can really have that deep an effect on every other aspect of their life once you've been doing it for a while. But it, you can see it after, you, you know, you see it now in sports and in other things and just, it's great. Well, it's funny because I've, I've definitely got my ski buddies are all believers after sort of skiing with me for the season and then seeing... And I just talk about it on the chair all the time. And so, uh, yeah, there's, there can be converts. <laughs> and here we go, sink. And rise, arms follow, body sinks, drop the elbows, shift left, turn right, right foot goes. Left heel, left toe, ward off left. All the way to left, right foot. Turn right, left comes in, roll back, stay on the left as you turn back. Now press into the right leg, sit back. And push, 
Turn left, right draws in, shift right, left cuts across. Single whip, go forward, extend right, lifting hands, pull down, turn back. Drops the foot in, place the heel, pivot. Turn right over the right foot, white crane, circle, circle. Step, sweep and strike, knee. Arms float, right hip, right shoulder to the rear, left heel down, turn right. Turn left and step, rock back, left pivot into the hands, right goes, now right parries. Left goes, extend and retract. Back to the left, push away, turn right over the right foot, left comes in, shift to the left, right is released. Letter X, sink into the right foot, turning left. Now coming in, coming in, coming in, weight goes left, right foot goes. Now onto the right, roll back, press, sit back, and push. Turn left, right draws in, shift right, cutting across, diagonal whip, rock back, rotate, rotate left, right match, wind up, and playing the heart. Winding up right, stepping left, winding up left, stepping right. Left goes, switch the hands, step right, switch the hands, step left, wind up, and step, diagonal flying, turn right, turn left and step, right match, wave hands, like cloud. One more full movement, and to the left and to the right, tiger's jaw, separate, adjust the feet. Pivot heel, pivot toe, creeping whip. Right knee raises, right elbow. Back to the right foot, now the left, adjust right, brush the arm, left knee, left elbow. Step, press, spear underneath the hand, turn, turn back, control, separate, shift to the right, spear left, turn right, left, drops the left foot in, control, separate, posing, Pivot, middle kick, sweep and strike, rock back, left opens, right goes, rock back, right opens, left goes, drive the hips, rock back, arm in front, left pivots, right goes, ward off right, roll back, press, sit back, push, turning left, right draws in, shifting right, left cutting across, Single whip, push off and turn right. Left comes in, back to the left, right pivot. Left goes, turn left, shuttle. Turn right, cut down, left draws in. Right touch, left pivot. Right goes, cut down, turn left. Right draws in slightly, left goes southwest. Third quarter, cut down, turning right. Palms are up, right touch, left pivot. Right goes. Turn left, palms up, right comes in, onto the right, turn right, and turn left and drop onto the right heel, rise up on the left, right heel, right toe, now ward off, right, roll back, press, sit back, push, turning left, right draws in, shifting right, left cuts across, right foot adjusts at the end. Once again, turn right on the heel, turn left, pivot toe, creeping whip, push off the left, back to the right, left pivot, right goes forward, step back into the right, draw the arm up, heading the horse, posing, left toe, right heel, left across, right finish, lotus kick, sweep, press, Sinking into the right side, bend bow, shoot tiger, circle, circle. Right draws in, right goes, right parries. Left goes, extend. Hand under the elbow, sit back and clear. Back to the left, push away to the right, turn right, left comes in, shift left, right return. Deep breath in and exhale. How was that for everyone? Great, Dave. That was good. very good. It's feeling good. smooth. <laughs> Excellent. 
Does anybody have any uh, sticking points they want to work more on or any questions on anything? I think I'm okay for now, considering it's my first day back. So, okay. <laughs> We can go ahead and um, go through a, the form the third time if there's no questions on any specific postures in the form. All right, all right, here we go. And begin by bending the knees, dropping the hips. Body rise, arms follow, body sinks, drop the elbows, shift left, turn right. Left foot, board off left, right comes in, all the weights left. Right foot is down, board off right, left adjusts, roll back, press, sit back, push, turn left, right draws in, shift right, left cutting across. Single whip, right pivots at the end, walking in and extending, lifting hands, turning, turn back, drops the foot in, heel, pivot, turn right, draw the arm through the hand, white crane, circle, circle, step, sweep and strike, knee, arms float, you're on your right foot, sink into the right foot, left heel drops, lifting hands, turn right, turn left and step, rock back. Right goes, right pivots, left goes, extend onto the left foot, sit back, retract, and clear, back to the left, push away, turn right over the right foot, left draws in, shift left, right return, letter X, pull down into that right foot, turning left, now coming in, coming in, coming in, shift the weight to the left foot, right goes southeast, roll back, press, sit back and push, turning left, right draws in, shifting right, cutting across, diagonal whip, right pivots at the end, rock back, rotate, left adjust, right match, wind up, and escape, playing the heart, turning, stepping, wind up, step right, wind up, step left, wind up, right goes, wind up, Left goes, now onto the left, turn left, turn right and step with the right. Left adjust, diagonal climb. Winding up and turning left and step, right and match. Wave hands like cloud. One more full movement. And to the left and to the north. Tiger's jaw separate, adjust the feet. Turn right on the heel, turn left on the toe. Snake creeps down, right knee, right elbow, back to the right, now to the left, brush the arm, left knee, left elbow, step, press with the left hand, spear underneath the left hand, turn, turn back, control, separate, onto the right, spear left, turn right, turn left, foot drops in, control, separate, posing, pivot, Middle kick, sweep and strike, rock back, left opens. Right goes, sweep and strike, rock back, right opens. Left goes, sweep and punch. Arm in front, rock back, left pivot. Right goes, turn, roll back, press, sit back and push. Turn left, right comes in, shift right, left cuts across. Diagonal whip, single whip, I'm sorry. Push off the left, turn right, left comes in, right pivot, left goes and shove. Turn right, cut down, left comes in, right touch, left pivot, right goes, cut down, turn left, right comes in slightly. Now left goes, look at your feet, cut down, turning in, left draws in, right touch, left pivot. Notice your foot position. Cut down, turn left, right draws in, onto the right, rise up and sink, turning left, heel, toe, rise up and sink, heel, toe on the right. 
Ward off. Roll back. Press. Sit back. And push. Turning left on the left foot draws the right in. Shift to the right. Left cutting across. Single whip. Once again, two paces to the rear. And snake creeps down. Push off the left foot back to the right. Left adjusts. Right goes forward. Back to the right. Heading the horse. Posing. Left toe, right heel, step across, right finish. Lotus kick, sweep, press, rise up, bend bow, shoot tiger, circle, circle, onto the left, right draws in, right goes, right parry, left goes, extend, retract, back to the left, push away. Turn right, left draws in, shift left, right return. Deep breath in as you rise up. Exhale, press down through the center. So, um, we're almost out of time here, but I just want to point out one more thing too. Remember we kind of worked a little bit on the Tai Chi walk and kind of broke that down a little bit at the beginning. And then John had the question about when we rock back and we adjust. Um, and my appeal um, to you all was to try and notice your feet pivoting at the end of the movement. So when we cut across on the single whip, watch the right foot as we move to the left, the right pivots. Well, also, you may have noticed that in relation to the question that John had about sinking and moving and adjusting that foot out, there's a lot of positions in the form where we go from maybe from here to here and adjust the right foot in. But there's also areas of the form where we rock back and we adjust that foot out. So that Tai Chi walk is really valuable not only for moving the foot in at the end into the correct position, but for actually setting up our next move and pivoting on that left foot, right? So we pivot left and then there's places where we're pivoting right too. We just play with that movement there. Anyway, just wanted to kind of point that out because I became more aware of that other foot opening up to allow the next move to happen um, as we were doing the form. Did anyone have anything to add to that or thoughts about that or that they noticed that during the form? No, I, I think it's good to have sort of the focus of the session. Like you say, you talked about the foot and that sort of, for me, it becomes the focus as we're moving through things. And so, um, you know, each time there's a, maybe a little bit of a different theme. And I, I like that because then because it helps keep it all together, right? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, it's like if you were a painter or something, you're sitting there working on a little bit of detail right here. Sometimes you need to step back and take a look at the whole picture and then zero back in and you can kind of refocus yourself and balance everything out a little bit more by taking that far away perspective. Yeah, and I think even with time that you what you you get comfortable, but you actually also can develop, I'll call it bad habits, it just, you know, what, for whatever reason. So it's always good to go back and to visit the basics because those bad habits can become ingrained and they become muscle memory and then you're really, you're really messed up. So <laughs> good to said it better myself. Thank you. We'll do a running a little bit late here. I apologize for that, but we'll do it. A quick three, three, and three. So every we'll do three exercises three times each. So we'll start with back of the hands. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, windmill the arms down. Round two. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Final round. Breathing in and out. And in and out. 
Let's go circles this time. Sink, rise up, arms float. Exhale, compress. Breathe in. Breathe out. Final round. Inhale. Exhale, sink, drop the elbows. Starting back in the standing position, we're going to inhale, arms float, palms down, palms turn up at shoulders. Shoulder width, exhale, pressing down. Breathe in. And out. Final round. Inhale. And exhale. Thank you, thank you, everyone. Great, Dave. We'll see you Wednesday. Yep. Thank you, Dave. You're welcome. Okay. Bye. Thank Bye. you, Dave. Bye-bye. Have a great afternoon. Have a great afternoon. See you next time. Okay.